What in the Peter Piper pepper? Smells so good. Can't wait. Let's go. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what to make. Um, you know, it gets a little bit, uh, you look at the fridge, if you don't plan it, it's like long to eat. Fridge is full of food, nothing to make. But what we'll do is, uh, I'll give you a little tip what I used to do, or what I still do, is I make a little couple things one day a week, and I'll make like some beans, some rice, some corn, different things, and then I'll mix it up and make three or four different dishes throughout the week on it. So today, this is Probably day three, I believe, I made a uh, Jimmy Chipotle, you see in the post on Instagram. Uh, I made a stir fry uh, with beans and rice and corn, and then some extra stuff. Now I'm going to make some stuffed peppers. So again, taking some leftovers, adding a few things, a few more seasonings, a few more herbs, herbs, and uh, come up with some new flavors. All right, we'll put a little sauce on it, uh, we'll put it all together, and then we'll see how it goes. Well, let's go. Okay, brothers. Well, this is heating up my cast iron. Uh, I'm gonna heat up our leftovers or right unders, leftover right under. Oh, that's the opposite. So we put a little olive oil in there. I got lots of it. All ingredients and stuff will be in the way. Don't worry. And so now we're going to add some black beans. So these black beans I, uh, I made the other day again, like I was saying, and um, put them in the fridge. They should make a lot. Uh, I'll put them right up over a freezer and a fruit bag. Uh, these are a great staple to have uh, ready to be made already. Um, no extra salt or nothing, just made them fresh. So we put some beans in there. And if I have any left over, I'll probably end up making a real tomorrow. Like, so today we're going to make just yes. one of the four that have the most peppers here. Just your little two feathers. Put this in there. Put it in that. And this is already cooked, so it's not like I got to. I'm not going to cook any of this stuff. Um, that's going to just keep it up with flavor wise. It's going to be reheated in the oven. Um, some fresh frozen corn. This I actually ran out yesterday, so I'm just going to put some frozen corn in there. Oh. Oh. We're all at the uh, yeah, mix in there. That'll cook, anyways, between here and the oven. Rice is already done. I got uh, uh, nutty rice. It's already pre cooked. Again, these are just all leftovers that I'm throwing together. Put that in there. Turn the seat up a little bit. Say go. About two. I measure this up too much because I have a pretty good idea of what it is. I have all eyes. Fresh garlic. Salt. 
Yeah. 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 So another reason I want to heat this up too is I want to add some spinach to this. Get a little extra flavor on top. So just a couple of little handfuls of fresh spinach. That'll wilt that right down and let's give it some extra color. Nice. I'm busy around here. Is that okay? Let's give this away so you can see a little bit better. Seasoning to it, and then we'll get to stop it. I'm gonna make a little, little sauce extra, add in, and add on after. Now it's going everywhere, but it's okay. It smells good. Yeah, the rice is getting a little purpley almost. from the uh, color of the, the black beans. It was great. So again, remember you don't have to have to have bread. I mean, I'll put all this stuff in if you want to make this exact dish, but this is about building off the leftovers. So um, you don't have to have rice, black beans, cream eggs, and all that, but just take some of your leftovers. So um, put a few extra things in, make a burrito out of it, make a stir fry out of it, add some cashews, or if you're interested in that stone. Um, you know, stuff some peppers. There's all kinds of things you can do. I just kind of take some of the main staples, add a few extra ingredients into it, change the flavor, contrast of it, season it a little bit differently, and uh, come up with another great uh, palette of flavors with uh, using leftovers, which is great. It, doesn't, it feels like a brand new meal. It doesn't feel like I eat the same thing that I had last night or this morning or anything like that. Okay, just some Let's go that 
the ingredients for bake them in the oven. Wow. Oh, yeah. 
This pair are really good. Um, and this is a lot over. Unbelievable. The sauce, the texture is uh, a little bit chip in the beans. Um, the, the flavors are just phenomenal. Like the other, especially that cilantro. Don't skip out that cilantro. It's a to help it. I know not everyone likes that, but that cilantro and that sauce um, mixed up with these. A lot of sweetness and pepper. This is really good. You're not going to get one of this one. Give this a try. I'm going to give this a five out of five throws. Um, I probably gave it a four if I didn't do a sauce with it and just made it the plain uh, stuffed peppers. It probably would have been a four and it's still good, but the sauce puts it over the edge, so don't skip on that. I got plenty of that. I'm going to be blobbing all over this thing. So I'm going to eat this, finish up, and uh, maybe have a nap. I don't know. This is good. I'll see you guys later. Hmm. I don't see you again. Nice Much love. Or when I do see it again. Until next time. See you guys.